In this sum, length is 90. If you see origin is omega, therefore radius 30 plus 60. So length is 90, height is 70 and width is 60. Because of this radius 30, width will be 60. First we will mark length 90, height 70, width 60. And we'll draw radius. After that, if you see front view, this entire unit is 1. See, this entire thing is 1. So, what we will do? First, we will mark 25. See, if you see this 25, first we will mark 25. We will go down. How much you have to go down? 70 minus 20, 50. And we will draw this surface. So, we are done with first part. Now, if you see, there is a slope in the main diagram. So take 20 from here and join this. You take 20 from here and join this. Now the same thing is behind also. The same thing is behind also. How much it is behind? If you see the radius, 30. So it is how much? 60. So it is behind by 60. So take 60 behind. This is already 60 behind. You can join. This is also 60 behind. You can draw a straight line. And this is also 60 behind. You can draw this. Now, if you see this, that will 12. Right? So, what we need to do? We need to mark 12 on this side. Go up and draw a line. Now, if you see, they have given a dovetail slot. So, we need to draw this slot. So, what we will do? Here, we will draw a vertical line. We will mark distance 20. Take center, midpoint, we'll take 12, and we'll draw vertical line. And then we will draw 60, 60 on from both the sides. So you get this distance. The distance is x. x. After getting this distance x, x, we'll take half of this and we'll cut this distance x on the right hand side as well as on the left hand side. So this distance would be x, x. You take half of this, you can cut 10, 10 on both the sides and you can join like this. So we got this upper bar. So always remember, whenever you have a such kind of slot, it is called dovetail slot. You need to draw it in orthography, find out the linear distance and take that linear distance and cut on this side. Take this x, cut here. Take this x, cut here. Now, after drawing this, we will see plate. This plate over here, that will radius 30. So, we need to draw numbers of side 60. So, we will take 60, 60, 60, 60. Draw longest diagonal, mark midpoint, midpoint, join from here. So, this is point 1. So, from point 1, we can draw this curve. From point 2, we can draw this curve. Now we need the same curve down also. At what height? 20. So what we will do? From this point 1, we go down by 20. We we'll mark that point as 1 dash. From this 2, we we'll go down by 20. We we'll mark that point as 2 dash. Again, we we'll take the same radius. See this radius. We we'll go down by 20. And we we'll draw this radius. See, take this radius, go down by 20, draw this radius. Take this radius, go down by 20, draw the radius. And then you can draw tangent. Now after that, you can draw this also down. Now we are left with hexagon. Again, if you see hexagon, we can't draw it directly inside. So we need to draw hexagon outside. So first we will draw hexagon outside, like below the diagram, we will draw hexagon outside 20. And I will find out linear distance, that is A, as well as this is known to me, which is N, N, and this distance, which is B, B. This is point 
x. Now, what I will do? I will find out point x. We have already we have already written x, so we will write point p. So now we will find out point p. So what we will do? So we take half of this, we we'll draw a line, and take half of this, we we'll draw a line. So we will get a center at this point p. After that, we know this distance. It is a, and this also a. So we will take this and compass. Take this much in your compass. Cut off this side. Same way, cut off this side. See what I am doing? I am taking this distance, cutting it on this side. Take this distance, cutting it on this side. If I want to name this M N, so I can name them M N. Then I will draw parallel line. It's given ten up, ten down, ten up, ten down. So I can mark ten up, ten down. Same thing here, ten up, ten down. Okay. Got it. So what what I did first? First I marked point P. Then I took this distance A. If you see, this distance is A. Take this distance A. Cut up this side. Take this distance A. Cut up this side. Okay. So you got point M and N. From there you go ten up, ten down. From here you go up ten up, ten down. Ten up, ten down. Ten up, ten down. Then you take this point. Let's say this point is Y and Z. So take this distance Y, P to Y, which is equals to P, and cut off this side. So you got Y. Take P to Z, cut off this side. And then you can join. So we got X again. So basically, I took this distance B. I've cut here. I took this distance B. I've cut here. So I got X again. Now, if you see the main diagram, the given depth, which is 10 down, it is not through and through. It is only 10 down. So what we need to do from each corner, we need to go 10 by 10 down, 10, 10, 10, 10, and then we need we need to join them. So we need to darken only those part which we can see. So we are done with this.